So I would see her every morning when I would come in to buy my breakfast before I'd come to work. Seeing 72-year-old Patricia Grant was something Lorraine Valid looked forward to each morning. She's just really friendly and outgoing. Um, just a, a really nice lady. On Friday, she and other florists at Clemens Florist Inc., which is right next to the Speedway, were busy arranging flowers, creating bouquets and a big white wreath to remember her. And we've already had people coming in the store asking for wrapped flowers to lay in front of the door. You know, I mean, she just she didn't deserve to die. It's, it's not good. I hope they catch the person. Just after 6 o'clock Thursday morning. Uh, this is a hold up panic alarm. It was just activated. Greensboro police say Grant was shot after having just opened the Speedway gas station on Battleground Avenue. They say the suspect was trying to rob the store. The first thing I thought of was, I hope it's not her. I hope they didn't rob the store. Heather Rodriguez stops by the Speedway almost every day. When she heard the news, her heart sank. And I asked her, was she ever concerned about being robbed? And she told me that, yes, yeah, she was concerned about it, but that she, if anybody ever came in and, and tried to rob her, that she would give them everything that they wanted. She said life was precious and, and she wouldn't fight them. And she said I'd even pack them a doggy bag on the way out. She watched police investigate a home near hers on Martha's Place Thursday, one possibly connected to Grant's death. Now she's scared. To think that the person that could be responsible for murdering her, um, it's just, it's, chilling and scary to know that they are they potentially could be so close to where we live.